Hi and welcome to this presentation of QRAP Edition 2 working within the ISIS Vision homeopathic software. It's David here and I'm going to talk you through all that's new and improved in the QRAP Edition 2. There are three basic categories of editions. There are five brand new qualities. There are newly proven remedies that have been added into the QRAPE database and adjustments and enhancements have been made to existing qualities. Here's the list of the new qualities coming up in a second. There are five new qualities in QREP2 and here they are, I'll just talk you through them. They are called Big Ego, Birds and Flying, Fear, Disease, Insects and Judgmental. These are the five new qualities added over and above those already in QREP Edition 1. Big Ego as the name implies, are those who patients who you see are suffering or displaying selfishness, pride, vanity, overconfidence, self-importance, all signs of a big ego. Also relevant here would be people with uh, tremendous uh, importance placed on uh, body appearance. Birds and flying is the next quality and as the name implies again where birds or flying uh, related issues are a theme of the case. Any fears, dreams, delusions, experiences of flying and note this also applies to a fear of flying in an airplane as well as those persistent thoughts of birds and uh, dreams, fears and delusions of flying. Thirdly, fear disease. This is for anxiety or over anxiety about any health, fear or disease issues. Persistent repeating thoughts of disease in themselves and others. Uh, remedies taken here are not taken from the old rubric hypochondria as in the old days that used to be ref used to refer to what we call depression. However, this quality can be used for what we call nowadays hypochondriacs. The fourth quality is insects, any uh, phobias, fears, dreams or alternatively uh, extreme love and sympathy, uh, cruelty or any connection to insects of any kind that's a kind that's the theme of the whole case. The quality insects can be very very useful and note here this does not relate to physical sensitivity to insect bites at all. This is purely a mental and emotional relationship to insects. Uh, finally judgmental, a very important quality I think for those who are very very critical of others, uh, judgmental, nitpickers, fault finders in themselves and especially in others. Could be uh, a very modern day quality for those social media trolls and hypercritical people that are very quick to pop up on social media. The quality judgmental is going to be very useful. The second category uh, of additions and enhancements to QREP are the newly proven remedies added. Here you can see a list of birds, insects, flowers, fish, Black Panther, lots of uh, bees, beetles, flies, butterflies. These are the newly proven remedies added into QRAP. Uh, some people, by the way, think that you have to work with new remedies in order to use QRAP, but that's not true. QRAP is just as highly effective if you've no interest in the new remedies and want to work more deeply and effectively with your tried and trusted remedies. But if you want the new remedies and want to work with them, QREP is the very best repertory for that uh, process. The final category of changes to, to QREP are the adjustments to, to existing qualities that are in Edition 1, which are corrections and adjustments to remedies in existing qualities, maybe changing the grade slightly in view of uh, practical experience using the QREP, and finally um, adding the newly proven remedies into existing qualities. Right, I'm now going to show you QREP2 inside ISIS Vision. So here we see the repertory of mental qualities version 2 on the ISIS Vision homeopathic system. First thing you'll notice for those of you of using QREP edition 1 
is the boxes for each quality are now bright green instead of blue. That helps us both clearly distinguish which version you're running and all fit onto the one screen which makes it really easy to access and simple to use. Um, the button here, the symbol here next to each quality is available to you if you just want to remind yourself of the meaning of the quality when you're considering which qualities to take and just click the symbol again to remove it. And before I move on, some people like to work with the traditional view of the repertory rather than this graphical interface. And if you're one of those, you can click the hierarchical button here and you'll see the QREP expressed as rubrics in the traditional way with all the remedies showing on screen. And Jeremy uses four grades of remedies on the screen where grade four represents like Nux from here for ambition or like a podium represents a very high quality of presence in the rubric or in the quality itself whereas grade one is known to have some affiliation or association with ambition but the higher the grade the more quality it's not like a normal repertory where a, a, a remedy is promoted in grade based on the quantity uh, or the number of times it's known to appear in Jeremy's repertory it's very much based on the quality of information from provings from cases from rubrics and all combine into a judgment into what makes a grade 4 or a grade 3 remedy in the repertory of qualities I'm just going to go back to the graphical interface because I find it very very easy to use and one of the, the main guidances I can give you here is just choose whatever you see in the case so for uh, don't don't obsess about the details of is it this rubric or could it be that rubric or or what could it be just take whatever you see if you see a quality in a case take the quality it's quick it's easy it's reliable and you're going to get all the remedies that relate to that condition it's a very simple thing if someone is a very very strong advocate of animal rights is very very concerned with animal welfare you may not have even thought there might be a rubric for that but here you would just take the quality of animals and take it in your case but I'm going to give you a case here I was thinking about the other day this is someone who's very perfectionist I'm going to take that by dragging and dropping onto the clipboard they like to do things right and they like to be proper in everything they do and they've got set very high standards for themselves. This also has moved into OCD or obsessive compulsive disorders where because of their perfectionism they start getting into repeated and obsessive actions and thoughts. The two are different but very related in this case. And finally I'm going to take one of the new qualities, judgmental. This is someone, and we'll be kind to this patient, this is someone who is very self-critical because they're so perfectionist they want to get it right and they're extremely critical of themselves uh, whenever they're doing things and now we've got three rubrics on the clipboard in 30 seconds or so and we can just repertorize and see the remedies the leading remedies that cover all of the qualities in the case and initially with every case there's going to be quite a few remedies but the idea is that you sight scan each remedy apply your own homeopathic thinking, thinking to the case is this an arsenicum case is it an ignatia case is it nux farm is it sulfur is it aurum and you know these remedies because many of them are polycrests and you can differentiate immediately again based on how you practice homeopathy and how you perceive you're going to select your remedy but you can apply your knowledge at this stage to choose the recommended remedy However, when site scanning, if anything catches your attention as you go down the list here, for example, here's a remedy that's not a polycrest, it's sapphire. Now, when you see one of the newly proven remedies coming through a case like this, covering all of the qualities, the mental qualities, it's worthy of some consideration. There are going to be no cases uh, in ISIS or repertory rubrics that you can find probably even in the complete repertory you won't find additions for this remedy into the rubrics but you can for example just quickly right click the remedy just look if there's any material medica information in your ISIS library I happen to have Madeline Evans provings <coughs> of rep uh, meditative repertories in my system and there is a proving of, of uh, sapphire and so you can read about that if you don't have anything in your ISIS system no material medica 
you'd have to go to Google and probably Google for you know, homeopathic proving of sapphire or cases of sapphire to see what's available on the web. Um, there are other homeopathic uh, uh, web resources you can access as well. And one of them is Jeremy's own provings website, which is provings.com, which is always well worth a look if you're interested in the new remedies. One thing to say at this point is what do you do next, which people often ask. And one thing I do want to point out is if you go to the traditional repertories, whether you use an old classic repertory like Bunninghausen, whether you use combined repertory, Murphy, complete, as soon as you start adding rubrics from those repertories, you are going to lose these new remedies. So before you move on, make a mental note of which new remedies are coming through if you're interested in them because you will lose them as soon as you start to add rubrics. Now, if you want to lose the new remedies and focus really on your tried and trusted remedies, then that's fine, you can just add rubrics. But the question always is what kind of rubrics? And the answer is not to take lots of physical rubrics because you will the more rubrics you take, you will dilute the effect of the QREP on the case. And you really want to use this group of remedies coming through and refine the list. And there are two techniques that Jeremy proposes. One is to use any strong general that you see in the case. It's got to be clear. Other homeopaths have got to see exactly the same thing if they were taking the case. So for example, if you had a food aggravation from vinegar or sour foods or a terrible aggravation from sweet things, you can take those with confidence because you're going to get a good set of general remedies to supplement this case. One of the other ways that Jeremy proposes, which he's very fond of, is to insist that the remedy you're going to give has some physical affinity with the body parts that are affected in the individual. So we're not talking of specific rubrics here, but affinities. And the, the repertory Jeremy recommends, which is available in every IC system, is the tried and trusty FATAC. Because for each part of the body, there are a list of remedy leaders associated and that have an affinity with a body part. So if you can see, I'm going to choose stomach, the person I'm treating has stomach affections. And there are quite a few remedies, but don't worry about getting the individual physical with just one remedy, which is going to be of no use to you in a repertorization. Take the heading, stomach affections in general, supplement that to your case of qualities, and now you have a kind of focus 10 or 11 remedies that cover all four. <clears throat> they're perfectionists, they have OCD, they're very critical and judgmental, and these remedies have an affinity for the stomach. And so at this point, you could really get to work, and this is where your training in homeopathy kicks in, to decide between these leaders. One point Jeremy does say is remember that the quality of the data is important. Anything with a four, Jeremy guarantees, has a high quality connection to what you've selected in the case. So here we see Arsenicum and Nuxfarm have top grade, top quality grades in all the uh, qu uh, qualities taken in the case and they're also top quality grades with affinity for the stomach. So these are very good leaders but you should always check all of these remedies, apply your own knowledge and how you're going to, to practice homeopathy and uh, make your decision about which remedies to give. So don't forget, take all the qualities you see, add general, strong generals if you have them, physical affinity if you can find them, stick to the tried and trusted repertories along with the QREP and you'll get great results.